Hi there, Gary here from Longsons, and I'm going to take you on a brief video tour of this spacious, well presented, detached, four stroke, five bedroom house we have situated in Watton, Norfolk. Okay, so I'm sure as you've already gathered, that is the property right there in front of us. We've got good size front garden laid to lawn. It's this established tree just to the front of the garden. There is driveway providing off-road parking and access to the garage. Uh, the garage is currently divided into two at the moment. We've got a partition wall uh, running through the middle. So it's uh, currently set up with a gym area to the front and office space to the rear. But if somebody would uh, prefer to have a the, the full single garage then it'd be quite straightforward just to remove that wooden stud work from the center of the garage so i'll just show the property location we're on dowding road we're just on the outskirts of watton yeah, there is as you can see it looks uh, it appears to be uh, building work going on on the other side of the road there is some uh, properties being built further down in that direction but I've been advised uh, planning shows this area here directly to the front of this property uh, is going to be it shows on the plans as a green area so it should just be green to the front of the property okay well that's the outside front and property location let's uh, without further ado head on in through the front door and have a look around inside so straight into the entrance hall, the stairs up to the first floor. The property is UPVC double glazed throughout and with gas central heating as well. So as we wander through, first room on our right, we've got this good sized lounge with, uh, there's a feature fireplace there with inset log burning stove windows to the front and side and then we have on the opposite side of the hall a good size kitchen stroke breakfast room so in the um, sort of dining end of the kitchen it is set up currently for dining, but there is plumbing in here as well. So if somebody wanted to use that as a utility area, it could certainly be used as that as well. In the kitchen, we've got enamel one and a half bowl sink units. And we have integrated appliances as well with uh, integrated dishwasher, integrated fridge stroke freezer. There's space and plumbing there for a washing machine. And there's space there for a large range style gas oven as well. And we have built in storage cupboard. So heading back out into the hall, take another left turn and we'll find ourselves in where's well, second reception room stroke bedroom five. So it, this is currently used as a bedroom but it'd certainly be a, a dining room or a second reception room if, uh, if desired. So we have one more room to see on the ground floor and that is the cloak room with hand wash basin and WC. So heading up the stairs now, onto the first floor landing where we've got uh, that's a built-in storage cupboard the windows to the rear and the side and doors off to the various rooms so we'll start with bedroom one a good size double bedroom windows to the front and side And then we have 
bedroom two, another double bedroom, windows again to the front and side. Then we have bedroom three, another double bedroom, window to the rear this time, looking out to the rear garden. We'll go and have a look at the garden in a very short while and built-in wardrobe. And we have bedroom four. So this is the smaller single, single bedroom, but still not a bad size single bedroom. Window to the rear. There's four bedrooms on the first floor. Potential bedroom five stroke reception room on the ground floor. Now we're in the bathroom. So we've got a four piece bathroom suite here, starting with a shower cubicle with rainfall shower head over and a separate hand shower attachment. We have a spa bath as well. Great to unwind after a long taxing day. Wash basin set within fitted cabinets. WC and towel radiator. There's also a light tunnel there as well. And extractor fan. I've also noticed we've got a fresh air system as well. So we've just got the ducts there sitting on the uh, ceiling on the on the landing. Very healthy. So heading down the stairs, back through the hallway, into the kitchen stroke breakfast room, heading out the entrance door into the rear garden. So firstly, I'll just show you, just so you can get your bearings, there's the gate back out to the uh, front. I'll just show you the garage. I did mention it earlier. So we're now in the garage. So it's a standard size single garage. So it has been divided into two with wooden stud work. And as you can see, front of the garage currently set up as a, a gym area with some serious looking gym stuff. And then we've got an office area just to the rear of the garage. Obviously electric light and power in, in both there, but it'd be fairly straightforward to just remove that stud wall if a full garage was required. There's also an additional good size store as well, just on the back of the garage. And then also there's this uh, extension to the rear of the garage. Um, I've been advised it's, it's fully insulated. As you can see, we've got electric light and power in here. Hello, cat. So we've got, this is where the cat works from home. We've got UPVC double glazed window looking out to the rear garden. And there's also another door there, and that's even more storage area. And that's to the rear of the store I've just shown you as well. So a very useful garden office stroke studio. Ideal, as you can see, for a cat. Then got a really good sized rear garden. So that's an enclosed rear garden. They're mainly laid to lawn. Got a path running to the rear that we're now wandering along. There is a wooden decked seating area tucked away in the corner there. Edge, wooden fence to the perimeter so uh, yeah not a bad sized garden at all okay so that's the brief video tour of this uh, well presented spacious detached four stroke five bedroom house we have situated just on the outskirts of Watton in Norfolk thank you for watching <laughs>